camera's tiny. It seems weird that they would use this footage on their flashy, sexy video. It seems like it has some obvious issues with the camera. The obsessive thing pay. This is a new type of video. This video, well, welcome back to the Obsessive DP. We usually go over high level lighting and lensing tips, but there's a new camera out. So we're gonna check out this new camera, new slow motion camera, which I love. I love slow motion. It's super fun to post things on Instagram. People love to see water splashing over soda cans or, or seltzer cans or whatever it is. It's, it's just very, it's eye candy. But we're checking out this camera. It's by Freefly. They've made the Movi. They, I think they made some drones. Uh, and now they're branching into cameras, which is, is super interesting because it's a sick slow motion camera. It's super small, super great to throw on a drone. The drone wasn't even that big that they were just flying it on. Looks dope. I mean, if, if you're into slow motion and you have the choice between this and the Phantom, the, how much is the Phantom? The Phantom's a lot more, right? But it can record 25,000 frames per second. So that's kind of cool. But when would you ever use that? All right, where is the price of this thing? Yeah, it's $150,000. So it was smart for Freefly to make this more affordable option for a slow motion camera. Because the RED, we have the RED at Knack Knack. The RED can only shoot 240 frames per second. This thing can shoot 240 frames per second. So it's not really a slow motion camera. On the RED, it's not going to look as magical as, let's say, a Phantom, obviously, because it shoots 28,000 frames per second. I know people have had this guy. Phantom VO price. It can't be $100,000. Yes, yeah, $60,000. So if you go with a Phantom, you want real crazy, insane slow motion, 23,000 frames per second, then you have to fork up, you know, $60,000. So it was super smart for Freefly. I think this camera is uh, 9,000 bucks. So not bad. Cheaper than a RED. Oh, it's so small. Yeah, it's 10, 10 grand. It looks like a DSLR. It's so cool. It has an internal SSD, an internal battery for I think an hour it lasts. This might change the game. You can get some really cool slow motion aerial shots with this guy. So 1000 frames at 2K, which there isn't a camera that I know of in the market that fits that spec. If you're gonna go slow motion, you get a slow motion camera and you can shoot up to 20,000 frames per second. If you go just normal cinematic, you can probably only shoot 300 frames per second at the max sub 2K, which we would never wanna shoot that on the red because the red also crops in so your lenses aren't as sharp. That's basically all the features. It's tiny, it can shoot over a thousand frames per second. It has an internal battery, internal SSD, a lot of cool features, but there are some things I'm noticing here while watching this. One. There's really, really heavy LUTs. Like I wish I could see the color straight out of camera because I have a feeling that this kind of look is what you're gonna normally get out of the camera. Actually, this looks good. I think there's some great color here. It still feels like the shadows are really dark. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a lot of detail in the shadows, honestly. The black point's always really low, and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of dynamic range. I don't think they give any dynamic range information in this video. Here, I'm at 4K, and I'm seeing a lot of moire on a shot like this but i know we're only at 2k you don't want a drone when the the sharpening's up too high it looks like the sharpening's up too high and it's it has this more and like it just it has like a bad digital feel check this out there's this line that goes all the way across the screen it starts on the left you can't see it as much in these trees but look at this it goes through here goes through the sign goes through our biker goes all the way to the left side and it shows up multiple times. Look at this. It's also here. It's hard to see it right here. See, it starts here. I think the drone's a little crooked. It starts here, goes all the way, all the way through the frame. What? It, what is that? Is it a sensor issue? It seems weird that they would use this footage on their overview flashy, sexy video. It seems like it has some obvious issues with the camera. I feel like that would be easy to fix. They could be using multiple and stitching them together. I'm not sure, because you can do like this really horizontal shot and then you can get slower frame rates or you can get slower slow motion because you're using less of the sensor. So maybe they're combining them, I don't know. It's odd though. This color looks really good here. This, it doesn't have that crazy LUT on it. I, I think that looks great. Okay, what is going on? There's like crazy lines here. Is that the sensor? Is that not enough brightness? I know with the Black Magic, we saw the Black Magic, and when it was light starved and you had to up the ISO, it would it would look crazy like this. Look at these lines. There's there really is lines everywhere. Look at look at all this footage. I mean, this is just grain. 
But look at these lines, line, line, line. It, it almost looks like it's been interlaced. This looks, this is an amazing shot again. It seems like the studio shots look really good. Maybe because they're lit really, really well. What I'm thinking is in studio situations, this thing is looking great. The color is looking great. The LUT is looking nice. You're not seeing crazy lines. And I think it's maybe because they had enough light. Because if you have like an 18K next to a little studio setup, that's gonna be a ton of light. And you need a lot more light when you're doing slow motion. Here, when we're outside, it looks like it's actually a cloudy day. So we're not getting some nice direct sunlight. It's just looking grainy. Weird lines are showing up. See, look at his pants. Look right here. What is that? I don't know what it is. It doesn't look high quality. You know, I wonder if that's just the 2K down res. Yeah, it's just weird pixelation everywhere. And I don't think it's YouTube because they're obviously using other cameras in this and it's not showing up in other cameras or it's not showing up in shots that aren't as slow motion either. But the really slow motion scenes here, we have a line again right here, all the way across the frame. I don't know if it's stitching. I don't know if it's a sensor problem, but if it was a sensor problem, I don't know why they would use that camera for their overview video for their camera. I think they would switch it out. <laughs> You'd think, okay, crazy lines here. Look, just look all the way down the frame as it plays. I don't know if that's compression. There's a really bad line here, straight through the center. They had to see this. What is that? Is it a lens thing? I think it has to be a sensor issue great great lens trees look awesome this is just super i don't think it's bright enough but it looks almost like less than 1080 it looks like 720 as i'm playing this oh there's a spot here too there's spots everywhere maybe it's a lens this awesome so cool i don't see any issues with this frame this is what i would use this for if i needed a slow motion camera that wasn't as pricey as a phantom this type of shot looks great this is such a cool shot with the drone right there great frame again I, i'm not a fan of the lut we're seeing weird lines right here and here see that it's almost two lines this time i really don't know i mean maybe it's a slow motion thing i haven't worked with slow motion cameras that often i don't know if there's something here that they could have fixed it with i don't know if it's a lens thing it really looks like a sensor issue all these look cool line right here right through the center of his head all the way across and the lut i'm just not a fan of the lut i don't think the lut looks good dog jumping around yeah that's it i i think best use for this camera is in a studio situation i would use this in a studio if i needed a thousand frames per second and i didn't have the budget for a phantom i would love to try it out i love the size of it perfect to put on a drone i don't think they've ever well they've probably put a phantom on a drone but not a not a small drone that was a tiny drone you need you know an octocopter to fly a phantom just like the red you need something huge it'd be cool just to have around to get cool slow motion shots remember you need a lot of light when you're working with slow motion at a thousand frames per second you're at a 5,000 shutter speed right did i do that math right or are you at 50,000 you're at a super high shutter speed i don't even know what it is you know check it out if you want to send me one free fly send me one maybe that line will go away to me it looks like a big issue when your camera has bad dynamic range and you have these lines going straight through your footage but it's their first camera they're gonna learn they're going to adjust they're probably not going to see this video but if you see this video fix the lines in your camera dude fix them i hope this does well because i'm looking forward to getting a low budget good quality slow motion camera i'm thinking v2 they're going to learn a lot and do and make a much better camera this just came out so we probably have some time till they get to v2 but i'm excited i think it would be cool it would be a great little camera to have as a a special camera over at knack knack over at our production company so stay tuned guys i wouldn't buy this one but maybe the next one if you like this video let me know in the comments below send a question subscribe stay obsessed